The 2015 Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament was contested once again in one of the best gyms in Nebraska, the York City Auditorium. The action began in the third place match where Bruni Davenport Shickley took down Meridian three sets to two in the third place game. The two teams combined for 86 kills in the match. Then it was on to the championship match where the third seed Hampton would take on the one seed Exeter Milligan. An auspicious start for the Hawks on the service error first serve of the game, but they would respond in a big way. Madison Van Housen would get the kill here to put her Hawks up early on in set one. Exeter Milligan would respond with Marissa Howard getting her kill. The Timberwolves were back on the board. After that though, all Hampton. Taylor Clayson would get her opportunity from the left side of the offense, put one to the back row. Another point for the Hawks. After that, it was Tristan Mason, also from the left side, and the Hawks were cruising in set one. Tama Seebeck then would get her opportunity on a back set, another point for the Hawks, and it was closed out in set number one. Tristan Mason would get the ace for the Hawks. They take set number one, 25-7. The Hawk faithful out in full force and excited for their team. It was Exeter Milligan that was out to a big 21-14 lead in set number two before Hampton would get their ace block from Haley Schultz to try to start to climb back in it. Exeter Milligan would respond with a kill from Hannah Beath that made the score 22-15. The Hawks would not go down in set two without a fight. Madison Van Housen, the big ups for the big swing, making it 22-16. Then the Hawks would get a block, an ace block, from Taylor Clayson, making it 22-17. A back row attack from Tristan Mason to make it 22-18. And a kill from Madison Van Housen to make it 22-19. The Hawks were back in it. Then a long rally would end in an error on Exeter Milligan, leaving our score 23-20. After the timeout, Exeter Milligan would get a kill from Marissa Howard to make it 24-20, a couple more points, and then a fantastic play by Sydney Hall at the net, and the Timberwolves would take set two, 25-22. The match was squared up at one set each. The action would pick up in set three. Hampton leading 15-9, but Exeter Milligan gets the kill from Marissa Howard and the ace block from Sydney Hall, making it 15-12. The Hawks would respond with a block from Taylor Clayson, making it 17-16 later on in the set. Then a kill for Exeter Milligan's Haley Lusum, followed by a couple of kills for Tristan Mason of Hampton, would end up with our score 20-20 at a late timeout. A couple of errors on the Hawks and a point for the Timberwolves made it 23-20, and Exeter Milligan would close out in set three. A couple of kills from Hannah Beath, making it 25-23, the final count in set three. Exeter Milligan would take a two to one set lead. In set number four, Exeter Milligan would get back to back plays at the net by Hannah Beath to open up a 15 to nine lead. The Timberwolves would then get back to back kills from Haley Lusum, opening up a 19 16 lead. Then Catherine White from her right side would get a back set, put one down for the Wolves in a 20 to 16 lead. Hampton would respond. Tristan Mason from the left side, making it 20 to 17. Then it was Marissa Howard, not once, not twice, but three straight times, putting it down for the Timberwolves. Tara Mueller would add an ace to make it 24-18, but the Hawks had one final chance. Back-to-back -back kills from Van Housen and Clayson would make it 24-20, but it was Howard again, a play at the net, and the Timberwolves were the CRC tournament champions. You know, we just kind of joked about it after the first set. We're just like, well, you know, they're hit, they're serving harder than we're hitting, so we're going to have to make some changes. And really all we did was focus in on our serve-receive and making sure that we were being aggressive on serve-receive with our offense. Third and fourth sets really were pretty much could have gone either way, but um, I felt really, really proud of the girls and how they um, kept an even keel, temperament, their, their attitudes were awesome in the timeout. I'm really happy with our serve-receive game because Hampton just serves a very aggressive ball and you know we were able to handle it for the most part. I have said that about this team all along. They just, we've been in tight matches. We've been in, in tight matches uh, the, just recently 
And you know, I guess the thing I'm most proud of is how they is how they keep their cool. They just think about the next play. They don't worry about what happened last play, and they just do their thing and focus on what's upcoming.